Mobile devices, the most popular communication devices which have become very essential in day-to-day -day life. Today, in year 2010, we use these electronic devices for mobile telecommunications such as mobile telephoning, text messaging or data transmission over a cellular network. And also we use mobile devices even to browse internet, to entertain by watching videos, playing games, taking photographs and also to get help for their official work. But what we take for granted today was only a vague idea, 40 years ago. In order to understand how we got this far, let's go back to 1971. Pre-cell phone mobile telephony technology, also known as the Roth generation, such as radio telephones that some had in cars before the advent of cell phones. One such technology is the Autoray Diopuelen, RP, launched in 1971, in Finland as the country's first commercial mobile phone network. 1G is short for first generation wireless telephone technology cell phones. These are the analog cell phone standards that were introduced in the 80s and continued until being replaced by 2G digital cell phones. In 1973, Motorola employee Dr. Martin Cooper invented the first mobile Motorola Dynatac which is the first generation mobile device. In 1980 Symbian Foundation released the first software for a mobile computer which was founded by David Potter. Second generation wireless telephone technology cannot normally transfer data, such as email or software, other than the digital voice call itself and other basic ancillary data such as time and date. Nevertheless, SMS messaging is also available as a form of data transmission for some standards. 2G services are frequently referred as Personal Communication Service or PCS in the US. In the 1990s, second generation mobile phone systems such as GSM, IS-136, TDMA, IDEN and IS-95 CDMA, began to be introduced. In 1991 the first GSM network, Radio Linja, opened in Finland. 2G phone systems were characterized by digital circuit switch transmission and the introduction of advanced and fast phone to network signaling. 2.5G is a stepping stone between 2G and 3G cellular wireless technologies. The term second and a half generation is used to describe 2G systems that have implemented a packet switch domain in addition to the circuit switch domain. It does not necessarily provide faster services because bundling of TMS slots is used for circuit switch data services, HSCSD, as well. While the terms 2G and 3G are officially defined, 2.5G is not. It was invented for marketing purposes only. 2.5G provides some of the benefits of 3G, example it is packet switched, and can use some of the existing 2G infrastructure in GSM and CDM networks. The commonly known 2.5G technique is GPRS. 2G Island the generation of full digital mobile phone systems. It transmits primarily voice but is used for circuit switch data service and SMS as well. 3G, also known as third generation mobile telephone networks are the next stage in the development of wireless communications technology. Significant features of 3G systems are that they support much higher data transmission rates and offer increased capacity, which makes them suitable for high-speed data applications as well as for the traditional voice calls. In fact, 3G systems are designed to process data, and since voice signals are converted to digital data, this results in speech being dealt with in much the same way as any other form of data. Third generation systems use packet switching technology, which is more efficient and faster than the traditional circuit switched systems, but they do require a somewhat different infrastructure to the 2G systems. 
compared to earlier mobile phones or 3G handset provides many new features, and the possibilities for new services are almost limitless, including many popular applications such as TV streaming, multimedia, video conferencing, web browsing, email, paging, fax, and navigational maps. High Speed Downlink Packet Access HSDPA, is an enhanced 3G mobile telephony communications protocol in the High Speed Packet Access family, also coined 3.5G, 3G Plus or Turbo 3G, which allows networks based on Universal Mobile Telecommunications System to have higher data transfer speeds and capacity. It is a packet-based data service in WCDM technology. The 3.5G solution promises a data download speed of up to 14 Mbps, and an upload speed of up to 1.8 Mbps. As explained earlier, generation by generation mobile devices became more and more capable and intelligent due to rapid technological improvement in hardware and communication. In order to support these capabilities, mobile devices needed a special program to control its resources efficiently. As a result mobile operating systems were introduced. A mobile operating system also known as a mobile OS, a mobile platform, or a handheld operating system, is the operating system that controls a mobile device similar in principle to an operating system such as Linux or Windows, that controls a desktop computer or laptop. However, they are currently somewhat simpler, and deal more with the wireless versions of broadband and local connectivity, mobile multimedia formats and different input methods. The most popular intelligent mobile devices are smartphones. Operating systems that can be found on smartphones include Symbian OS, iPhone OS, RIM's BlackBerry, Windows Mobile, Linux, Palm Web OS, Android and Memo. In this research, we are considering on Symbian and Android mobile operating systems. Symbian is the most popular mobile operating system developed in C++ programming language and Android is the newly arising Google's competing mobile operating system developed in Java programming language. <laughs>